Hi, I'm Chris Levin, and you're watching Palm Beach Now. Palm Beach Now is proudly brought to you by Earl Hollis Realty, BJ Restaurant. Hi, welcome back to Palm Beach Now. I'm Gloria Cassell Hollis, and today we're having a wonderful conversation with a wonderful woman. Her name is Lisa Van and she's the fastest on the world. Wow, my goodness, how many? Hi, Lisa. Hi. <laughs> it's awesome. How many miles per hour? <laughs> In 2005, which many years ago, it was 156 miles per hour in the water for a kilo. Wow. But since then, the boats have been going more fast. Was it a catamaran? It was a MTI catamaran pole, yes. And how does it feel going so fast? What is that energy? Going it's awesome. Water? That's all I can say. It's awesome. Can you describe it in a few minutes for me? Yeah, it's like when you're driving a car, Mercedes or Ferrari or Lamborghini down the interstate. Once you're going 100 or 110, it just feels comfortable. And the energy is just there. It's hard to explain. Can you imagine? Oh my God, the hair. Me always with the hair. Oh, the helmet, the hair. Oh yeah, that's it's not lazy it's like in there sometimes. But is there anything else that you've been doing besides racing on the water? I see you have a book. I do. I raced uh, the Baja 1000, which is one of the most grueling races in the world in Ensenada, Mexico. And we travel 100, uh, 1,000 miles within 24 hours, non-stop. And it's uh, been going on for 85 years. The uh, Baja 1000, of course, competing in one of the largest, most dangerous sports in the world. It's just something that I've been hiding behind the helmet for so long, but I love it. It's, it's hard to explain. How, how long have you been doing it? I've been racing professionally for 20 years. Over 20 years, yes. Well, Michael, I guess you forgot, because I interview here Eddie Money and Peter Newham, remember? And who else did you had here? Uh, Ice-T has been a guest when he filmed Disciples here, um, Eddie Money. Um, Peter Noonan with Herman, Herman and the Hermerts, <laughs> and now we have Gloria Hollis. Great! People, what I see you taking me away from the island of Palm Beach into Lake Worth, right? I hope it's worth it. Okay. Well, we made this suite for you for the weekend for you to enjoy um, the sitting room, uh, the bedroom, the view of the ocean. Um, next is the pool, and I made a nice lunch for you. There's a bottle of Cristal on ice. We're gonna celebrate early. Great, thank you. And Chanel and I, we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna go shopping too, right? Yeah, shopping. Okay, you gotta show me around. Perfect. Hi, Lisa. So going back to your water racing, uh, I remember you had mentioned you had an accident on the water. I did. I raced in Michigan City, Indiana. I was racing for Popeyes. We were going about 120, 125 down the straightaway and hit a wake and we got uh, upside down and I was strapped on underneath. Oh, my horrible. Yeah. Goodness. What was the feeling? It's hard to explain because it was a peaceful experience for me. Yes. Um, I was blue and unconscious when they brought me back. Um, but I just remember fighting for my life inside and then literally looking up and counting seven bubbles. It was the most calm feeling I ever had and I knew I was going to be okay. God it's, bless. Yeah, it's just, it's hard to explain what I felt, but I knew I was going to be okay. And I'm so happy you're here me with too. me in order for me to interview <laughs> you. Oh, thank you. So I yeah. know um, you are having a charity that you are making it happen eventually. What's the name of the yeah, charity um, that you're planning on doing? Well, I have several charities that I work with. Okay. I've been working with the Suncoast Foundation for the Handicapped in Sarasota okay. for years. I've also been working now with the newest foundation, which is the Joey Brock Foundation. Okay. So Do you have a website ones. for that charity? Uh, the Suncoast Foundation for the Handicap is oh, yeah. Suncoast Foundation for the Handicap. Dot com. Okay. And then Joey Groton is the Joey Groton Foundation. Oh, right. so people could donate to that charity. Oh, yes. Right? That's amazing. So I know you wrote a book. What's the title of your book? Lisa, Color Me Fast? Color Me Fast. <laughs> what is the meaning of that? <laughs> well, it's Color Me Fast, but it's in black and white. Okay. Which is, oh, wow. life is about color, living life in full color. Nothing is black and white, so it's not what you see. And all see. the pictures are black and white. Everything is black and white, so That's it amazing. covers racing, Baja racing, um, basically life in general. This is beautiful. Thank this you. is very nice, and it's all about your life experience, Yes, right? it's about 30 years put into a book in 200 pages or less. And we could get this uh, Amazon? Amazon Books, yes, and it's Lisa Color Me Fast. You type amazonbooks.com, and perfect, and... Monroe, we gotta it. get it. Yeah. So let me ask you this, since you're so wonderful and I guess you've been through so many experiences on the water, 
and I feel that water is so incredible for me. The ocean is another world. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> it is another world. Um, what are you doing to save the environment? Well, I work in the recycling industry alone. Um, I go to the communities and educate the children in the schools um, regarding recycling. Um, waste, you know, is waste is no longer waste. It's, everything is recyclable. Like Ninety-eight percent of the products we touch and use are recyclable. Okay. Um, I also serve in Washington for the Recycling Caucus um, for the industry, which is the Institute for Scrap Recycling Industries globally. Oh, and I uh, do consulting for recycling companies. And you, the way you did the book is paperback, which is oh, recyclable. Yes, recyclable. This is amazing. Paper. Wow, you it's see this? Black and white, yes. That's and really good. Is there anything else that you're hoping to do in the future? Are you planning on continuing racing on the water? <gasps> well, I just finished my last race, believe it or not. Oh, really? And, um, even though the race so happened years ago, oh, okay. uh, July 4th was my last race. Okay. Hi, welcome to Raspberry Salon. I'm the owner, Liz, and this is... Marianne. And we specialize in great color work and great hair extensions. Please stop by to see us. We're conveniently located off of I-95 in Boca Raton on Powerline Road. Hi, welcome to Biche. I am Francesco and this is Paolo. Here we prepare the finest Italian pasta. Take a look and see why we have won so many awards. So Lisa, I, um, I produce and I direct films, independent films, and I think you mentioned that you were working on a project? Yes, i um, been working with Penelope and we've got uh, the screenplay. Who's Penelope? Yes, Penelope is the publisher of the book. Oh, okay. So she also works with a gentleman by Craig Helium out of New York and L.A. And a professional screenwriter. Oh, so, I like that. so he's approved the screenplay, had her work on it. We've been working on the project for two years. Awesome. And what's going to be the, the name? Color Me Fast. And Perfect. It's and like, who do you think would be the lead woman on this? You know, it's got to be somebody fun because. Who are you envisioning for the film? Idea. And, and a new up and coming young lady okay. because she's going to be able to travel 25 years of her life from racing boats to Baja to trucks to cars and wow. you'll be able to see her grow in 20 years. Oh, I gotta see that. So that's that's awesome. exciting. Well, congratulations. Thank on you. That. Let me know when you're ready. Your future plans. Are you planning on racing again? <laughs> well, you never say you don't want to give up racing. That's right. I do love racing. It's just part of me. I've raced since I was like eight years old professionally on the board, starting with karting, so racing is just something that's in my blood. I, I can't say I'll never stop. That's right, you And imagine. I'll race for charity, I'll do children's racing, handicap racing, I like like people the rides. Like I also work with Make-A-Wish Foundation. Oh, the Make-A-Wish, I love that charity, it's Their amazing. Their last wish is to go in a go-fast boat over 100. And Beautiful. I converted my boat to do that with a wheelchair, and we kind of lock them down and Why sit in the back. Fun? Where the girl will sit in my lap and I let her drop the boat. Oh, that's so hat. wonderful of you. That's very good. And do you have any pets? Not right now, I don't. No, but I did have a dog oh. for 23 years, so it's long enough. We're pet friendly over here. Oh, I love pet friendly. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, please look forward to um, getting a book on Amazon. For Lisa Matthews and Lisa has been so wonderful Great, to have you, you in our show. Marilyn Monroe loves the idea of the book. Oh, Lisa <laughs> fast. And I hope I have you again on the thank show. Thank you so much. It's been an honor to have you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. I'm Gloria Kissel Hallis. Thank you. Palm Beach now. Yeah.